Congratulations to Croatia for their penalty victory against Japan. Truth be told, this was a game that was always going to head into extra time and penalties. Neither team really dominated today, if I'm going to be truly honest. Um, Japan did edge it out in terms of corners. They had eight corners, only five for Croatia. But they also had the same number of shots on target. Both had four each. Um, Japan played a 3-4-3 formation where, of course, you know, they pretty much spent most of the game soaking up pressure from Croatia. In a more defensive formation, Croatia played 4-3-3. Playing, of course, uh, playing Petkovic as their main striker, which was, of course, the main change for the Croat. Um, truth be told, you know, Japan did really well when he broke, when he, when he, Broke away from Croatia, of course. Um, Tamada was their standout player. And, of course, I think he was the one who scored their goal. As for Croatia, though, they were pretty fortunate that Lovren did put in a quality ball in a box. And Perisic headed the ball in the back of it. Being putting quite a fair bit of curvature on the ball when he headed the ball in the back of the net. But I have to say, I was not surprised when the game got to penalties. The Japan, most of the Japanese penalties were really terribly poor. No power, poor placement. As for Croatia, you could just tell the experience in the team really told. You know, they've been in big game situations plenty of times. They won two penalty shootouts against Denmark and Russia at the last World Cup. They know what it's like under this sort of pressure compared to Japan, who, you know, thanks to Nations League, they don't really get to play European teams in friendlies anymore. Um... Last but not least, though, uh, credit to Japan. You know, they will always, you know, this World Cup will always remain in a lot of their fans' memories, you know, beating Germany, beating Spain. You know, maybe this could be the start of greater things to come for the Japanese, who knows. Um, as for Croatia, they're going to play the winners of Brazil versus South Korea. Yeah, I I be I would be very surprised if it was the Koreans in the quarterfinals. That's all I'm gonna say. And last but not least, um, uh, best wishes to Raheem Sterling and Ben White, who have had to be sent home to sent home from the England camp due to a burglary at Raheem Sterling's house and um, undisclosed private reasons for Ben White. So if you're sitting there thinking of trying to banter them on social media over what's going on. Yeah, don't. Please don't. Just seriously, just grow up.